is Monday, which means it's time for another video. Um, I'm kind of excited about this one. Not not saying that I'm not excited about the other things that I've uh, reviewed before in the past, but um, this has been on the poll a couple times. Um, I got this super cheap um, off of Hamilton Books. Um, that is The Brain. This is a Scream Factory release. Sorry, there is a glare. You can on it. You can actually see me <laughs> recording through this uh, Blu-ray. But um, The Brain came out in 1988. Um, and you have uh, the doctor from Reanimator. He is um, the villain in this movie as well. Um, you follow, he has this, his own show where basically this brain creature is um, kind of taking over these people's minds and making them believe whatever they hear from the television. And um, you follow this high schooler who is getting blamed for all these murders, even though he hasn't been murdering anybody. Um, and it's a doctor and his like sidekick. And you just follow him and his girlfriend kind of running away and hiding from the cops and the doctor. Um, and that's basically what the premise is. And towards the end, you see, um, like, what, like, the doctor, the main character, the main villain isn't actually human. He is a, like, robot type person, creature. I'm assuming he's a robot. You don't really... Um, get told that he's a robot, but you know he's not human. Um, and yeah, as you can see from this poster, um, yeah, there's a brain creature, a very big brain creature. Um, cheesy effects from this creature. Um, but I like, that's what I like about 80s horror films because it's the fact that you, um, don't get all the CGI bullshit. It's all practical. They make their own creatures. Um, and that's what I really like about this. It's a, definitely a really good movie. This is one that I've wanted to watch for the longest time, and I just never got around to watching it. And then, well, for the longest time, I haven't been able to find a copy for a decent price. And then I saw that on Hamilton Books. Um, they have this for pretty cheap. So I decided to pick it up because this is one that I wanted to add to my collection. And I'm kind of glad that I added it to my collection because, um, like I said, I, I really love like the cheesy 80s films. Um, if you guys know me, I love either creature features or cheesy 80s films. Um, and this is a cheesy 80s film. Um, yeah, it's basically the, the whole premise. I basically told you guys the whole premise of the film. It's not like the biggest on plot, but... Um, if you're looking for a fun, like, 80s horror film, definitely watch this because it's definitely worth a watch um, and definitely an add to a collection. If you guys don't have this already, I would recommend picking it up. Um, I think Stream Factory did a good job with this. This came out, when did they release this? It doesn't say when they released this. Sometimes it does. But, um, yeah, 1988, great year. Uh... Yeah, and you see this one scene too, this is like so random, this uh, married couple, she's getting brainwashed by the television, <laughs> and she goes out to tell her husband to come watch the show with her, and he's like, no, I'm not going to, and then <laughs> what she does is just chainsaws him to death, and then just walks away casually, like nothing happened. Um, I just thought that was a really random scene that they added in the film, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the brain. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Sorry, this review is kind of short. Um, but shortly after this review gets posted, I will be putting more movies on the poll. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if I'll do a live stream. I'll let you guys know in um, the community tab if I'm doing one or not. But um, stay tuned for that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If I, do if I don't see you guys on Friday, I will see you guys on Monday.